Here we are in third physics after a long time. There are some leaks I want to talk about, they are kinda important, you know. What in God's name is this? So you know, the update is really, really close to releasing and that is going to be great, like, we haven't gotten a big update in TDX for a long time. I mean, the last one in my opinion was the Christmas update, which was literally months ago. Let's get into the leaks. So you know, there are going to be three new towers, the XWM turret, the Golden Ranger, the Golden Juggernaut, and also some uh, other kind of towers such as A10 and uh, AC-130. This is the Golden Juggernaut, we have no idea how much it will cost in the store, but it seems really nice and also there is the Golden Ranger. So far from what we know, the Golden Ranger is not done. It is still work in progress and they are still making it. That's why they kinda delayed the update on man. Like it is a huge update and they need time. John told us that uh, the 50% speed boost will be free for everyone, in solos I mean. If you want to use it with your friends then you need to buy the game pass. The game pass will cost less in this update though, they will reduce the price of it. And here is the brand new tower, the XWM turret. Which is a strong tower and John said that it will be better than the Juggernaut for sure. There are uh, many new things in this tower like it can rebuild itself which is really really nice and it can also deal splash DPS and also the miniguns are really really great on the max levels. This tower can rebuild itself which means it is undead man like it can die, the tower can't die, it will rebuild itself after a a bit of time like 10 seconds or something also this tower has a death zone so if the enemies are inside its uh, death zone then it can shoot them so you gotta put it in a, a long range you know the tower shouldn't be very close to the enemies as you can see the red range around the tower is the death zone of it uh, the rpg missile turrets has it but the minigun turrets of the xwm turret doesn't have it so it's great Look at it man, like this is so cool, the animations, the effects are just really really nice, I love this tower so much. But the best thing about this tower is that it can rebuild itself, so that makes it undead, it can't die. It will always be there and rebuild itself after it dies and that's very great for the game. Here is the golden juggernaut by the way, the stars are not final as you can see in on the top. Uh, the, this tower will... Uh, shred man, like literally it will shred everything that comes it's to its way. It will ignore the armors like bulletproof armors, you know, the. it will just shred everything man. It will kill everything that comes to its way. There is no way you can survive against these golden juggernauts. I don't know but I got no idea how much DPS will this tower do actually. Like 5k DPS or something. Oh my god man, I really like this. The face of the genre you know subscribe or you see him so yeah here is the eradicator mk4 now this this boss will be a main boss in the endless mode it won't be a mini boss and it will be really, really strong as you can see it has so many different abilities which makes him really really strong in the uh, battlefield it can kill all of your towers in like a few seconds like you see this man like the abilities of it the Artillery ability, the grenade ability, it has so many different abilities and it will be unlink in the game. You will really see that. As you see it can also stun your towers with its shock bomb. It's like the grenadier. Here is the Atakilio now, uh, this tower won't be in the next update, the endless update. It will be added in the next updates, we don't know when they will add it but it will be the first ever ear tower in the game. Here are the new grenadier types now. This is the improved elite grenadier which will like shoot so many grenades at a long range. The enemy seems really really cool, isn't it really man? Like the design of it is actually really really different than the other enemies in the game at the moment. And the spectre which is the improved regular grenadier. It seems really really different than the improved elite grenadier. And this is the mini boss now. Like this is one of the mini bosses. There are four mini bosses in the endless mode. This is the avatar, which will literally come from the air and 
it will just kill your tower so easily because in, it will be in the back it won't spam in the entrance it will just spawn from the air man like it will jump from the air and come to the battlefield and kill off all of your towers here is a free skin actually the golden commando skin for the golden juggernaut john said that this uh, skin will be free somehow like i don't know how it will be free but it will be obtainable for robux too as you can know this is a reference to the tower battles that is so cool man like the top pet of the golden commando skin looks so good like the turret the minigun is just very very nice man and here is an extra leak again the shotgun rework it won't be in the next update because like the abilities of it will just take a long time to them the tower abilities it will have a, a different abilities on every level like the top pet maxable and the bottom pet maxable will have different abilities they will be really, really nice man like this tower will be so much better in the next updates i really love how this tower looks man like the shotgun rework will actually be really, really nice i really got hopes for that because you know in my opinion the shotgun really really needed this rework like it doesn't have that much of an use in the game this is a new ability of the get name cave 4 uh, it is the artillery ability which will literally one shot every tower in the game i don't know if it will one shot the warships but we will see that when the endless mode releases it can literally shred everything man like look at how cool it is i really like how it works and by the way it targets your strongest tower on the map like if you got the warship it will uh, target that if you got the max level rail gunner the bottom fat one it will kill that as you see the eradicator killed the xwm turret now it's rebuilding itself it takes like 10 seconds to be able to rebuild itself but that's really okay here is the resurrected john uh, it will have an ability of speeding up the bosses speeding up the enemies like it will rage it will uh, rage the enemies near itself and it will improve their speed that's going to be too op man like, i don't know how it will be but it's like the circus in the tower defense meter here are the some render icons for the uh, golden juggernaut uh, John made those in the uh, previous live stream he did yesterday. He also showed uh, these leaks I showed today in the uh, live stream he did yesterday. You can check out his live streams for more leaks. The way it looks is just amazing. The tower, the head, the knight armor is just very very nice. I really like that. This is really really going to be great because you know the five pedal minigun looks really really nice. I really like this one too man, like it looks awesome. However the gun looks a bit weird in my opinion, like it's not a minigun, it's kinda laser gunner gun, but it's also looking okay man, like it fits the game. The minigun of the base level looks so weird though, what is that man? I don't know but it really really looks weird man. But anyways I hope you enjoyed, that's it for now, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.